Hey guys, uh, welcome back to a new video, and today I'll be showing you how to merge mods and or manage your mods. So, what you're going to need is just really any browser, and you're going to want to go to the uh, Mod Engine 2 page, which is obviously the first thing you're going to need. This covers literally everything. It really is only two things you need to download for the most part. I think three, maybe. Basically, it's the Mod Engine 2.10 win64.zip which you are going to need to download since I already have this downloaded I don't need to do it but I'll show you again basically file icon you know extract all and then you should have it and what you're going to want to do once you have the mod engine folder downloaded is move it to a mod folder. Uh, you create an Elden Ring mod folder. Uh, just, you know, this is where you're going to keep everything. And I highly suggest doing it. It kind of complicates things if you don't. So what you want to do is just move the mod engine folder to here. In my case, I've already moved my mod engine folder because I've had mod engine installed for like a couple months. So should have it somewhere around here yeah right here and once you do have it downloaded I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this since I already have it don't delete yours obviously you need that so since I already have it open mod engine and yeah you'll be introduced to this page and you know this is pretty much everything you're going to need except for a few things now you are going to notice that uh, I do have a few other things downloaded on here, but these are like for other mods entirely and other things. But the only thing missing that's really important here is the ER Mods Manager, which is the main thing we're looking for. So once you do have the mod engine installed, you're going to want to go to this page right here, either link in the description or on Nexus Mods itself. And you're going to want to go ahead and download this. You'll be prompted to download the desktop runtime file. Obviously, you do need to install that. You save, click on the file icon, ex open, <laughs> not extract, and you either install it if you don't already have it, or you repair it if it's broken, etc. Mine's fine, so I'm not going to do anything with this. But once this is done, you essentially don't need anything else to do with it. And since I already have it, you know, I'm just going to delete it because I don't need it. But once that's done, you can just proceed with downloading the ER Mods Manager itself, which I've already done here. And once you've extracted it, extract all, it'll take you to this, which is essentially that file, but extracted with minus like the zipper on it. Click on that. And take it to the same file or the same place you put your uh, mod engine at. In my case, that's the Elden Ring mod folder. Pull up a separate tab of the file explorer. Elden Ring mods folder. And you're going to want to drag and drop this into here. Since I already have the Elden Ring mod manager in here, I'm not going to do it twice. But once it's in, just drag and drop. Yeah, I'm going to delete that because I save storage space. But once that's in, you are going to want to click on it. You're going to copy and paste this into Mod Engine in the Mod Engine directory right here. And you're going to want to put it really anywhere. It just has to be in the Mod Engine folder. Just really anywhere. For me, it's right here under the .toml. It can be anywhere. As long as it's in here, you're good. Now, uh, where we are of course with this is since we have everything installed and we have everything we need now it's just time to learn how to use the mod manager now this part is probably the most simple you are of course going to need mods to actually merge you know pretty self-explanatory in my case i keep all my mods in one folder which is like 20 ish so, what you are going to need is about two to three mods. I've never messed around with more 
than four. Four is like a hard cap because the more mods you try to merge at once, the more complex you're going to have and like the less complete each mod is going to be. I typically try to do two, maybe three. You know, the less mods you're trying to merge, the better. But in this certain scenario, you just pick two or three. So obviously you are going to want to open the mod manager and for instance i was already using this earlier and it is a shortcut on my desktop which i do suggest doing if you just want to be able to launch your games the moment you get on and there's a launch mod album shortcut right there too so for me i have my god mode save file which is like max stats max everything and the god mode crimson amber medallion which you know are obviously compatible now this will not fix you know obviously conflicting mods it'll only merge them and the conflicts that it finds it'll just delete straight out of it so if you find any problems with it it's just gonna either it's gonna pick and choose which parts of mods has to go and which parts of the mods are going to change now depending on which mod you put in the order it will prioritize that mod so at the top of the priority list i have my god mode saved because obviously i want that to operate the best that means the system will say that this is the most important file out of any and all of these on the list and obviously since i only have two i'm gonna put the second one just right under it because it's second priority now uh some files will not merge properly um something like virgil sparta like I, this is a virgil skin that will not merge because that it will not merge because it's not really compatible and it doesn't have a regulation bin it's parts it's bnds it's not it's not gonna work the certain things will not you know obviously go together but most things do once you find two mods that you believe are compatible just go ahead and merge Play Elden Ring modded, and that should really be it. And at this point, this is just the end of the video. Um, the rest of this video is just going to be, you know, me showcasing the mods, the abilities, and you know, a few other things as well. All right, so we're here. Uh, as you know, I did download two mods on this list. One was the carry and combos god mode pack, and the other was the god mode medallion. So, um, put that to the test. Let's see if it works. some reason I'm out of FP. Go ahead. Plenish that. Alright, there we are. So I should have maximum FP, HP, and endurance because of the mods I downloaded. So in terms of the carrying combo mod working. Movement. Yeah. Etc. It does appear to be working all right now to test the other mod which i downloaded which was the invincibility mod 
Okay, it does appear to be working, because it basically modifies the values of the Crimson Amber Medallion to give you, like, a ridiculous amount of HP, as you can see from the change on here. So, that obviously works. Um, I'm gonna go test it out. I'm gonna see if anything can kill me. Nothing should be able to. Obviously, as you can see, I don't take damage. I should have infinite FP. Hmm. I don't know what happened to my FP there. See here, effectively, immortal can't die. There's tank and arrows here. You know, pretty much infinite poise. And eventually, after a little while, you'll get into this sitting animation, which is really cool. And it just makes you transparent. You just can't get hit at all. Alright, I mean, that's about it. Uh, yeah. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, I mean, pretty simple video all around. Shouldn't be that hard to do, you know. Alright, well, uh, guess that's it. See you in the next video.